Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the highest end premium luxury motorhome that is still super short, only 35 feet long. It's super awesome, luxury, and nice. This is a 2022 Newmar New Air model 3545. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the new air and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this new air. We are inside the showroom, so I'm trying to keep my voice down some. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday, and we have to use our inside voices, which we're not used to. Why is that? Uh, it is storming! It is thundering and lightning like crazy it outside. Is, and it's supposed to rain most of the day, so we are just lucky that we had this in here, that we could do it for you guys. We haven't done a, a new air, I don't even know when the last time it's it been was. A, it's been a little over a year, and there's some big changes on this yes. one. I'm excited. Andrea has her coffee today. I do. <laughs> let's begin, only because it's Sunday. Let's begin. Andrea, model is 3545. Newmar, new air. The actual tip, tip length is 35 feet, 10 inches. This is the new air. This was introduced in like 2018 because if you wanted to have a 450 Cummins engine, you had to have a 45 foot motorhome for the most part, where the market really wanted a smaller 35 foot version, but they didn't want to sacrifice on the quality and amenities. That's how the new more came to exist. You have the option of getting this in the Freightliner chassis or Spartan chassis. This particular unit sits on the Freightliner chassis. It's an XCR chassis for raised rail. It is the Cummins engine, 450 horsepower with 1200 pound feet of torque, and it's the 8.9 liter Cummins. Andrea, to have that on a motorhome that's this small, it's pretty impressive. Um, right up here, we do have the nice uh, big front windshield. This unit does come with the comfort drive steering. Really nice headlight design. There's a slide out generator. It's an Onan 8000 generator. And look how mean and aggressive the LED lights look. I was thinking and that I love just that right looking there. at it. Yeah, it's an awesome looking motorhome. Coming on down the side here, if you stand all the way over here, Andrea, new for 2022 is the new bonded windows. This is a big upgrade and you can really tell from the inside um, how nice they are, but it just looks better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe what I was told was that that was a feature that was on like the London Airs and the King Airs and they brought it down to this level, the new air, because um, again, it's all about giving you the most quality, but not sacrificing on quality for the smaller motorhome. Right here, we do have nice steps. Oh. Aluminum steps. Oh, sorry. Let me start right up there. Aluminum chrome wind mirrors on both sides, and the cameras are actually right here in the side. Right here we have flag holders. Nice aluminum steps with the keyless grab handle right here. I like how it all lifts up and everything. And then you can push the buttons. And then right there we do have a very nice door awning. And then two Gerard awnings, Andrea. Wow. Armless awnings with motion sensors, so if it blows too hard, the awnings will automatically come back in. And then look at these tires, Andrea. <laughs> They're the Michelins. I love those. 305-70R22.5 with the shiny Alcoa rims. It's very pretty. Even the paint job on here is... Well, not just that, Andrea. Come over here. The paint job, they're continuing it on the slide out. It's very nice. Coming on down the side here, we do have very nice aluminum slam latch doors. You have a uh, domestic Dometic. refrigerator right there. Cooler and you have a nice slide out tray there. Yes, and then this is more storage here, but look at this. This is the double opposing doors, Andrea, giving you a huge slide out area. Double slide out trays, the LED lights are in there and everything. Right here we do have the Samsung TV with sound bar. It just looks great. The paint job's absolutely fantastic. And truthfully, the upgraded windows, these bonded windows, they just look absolutely fantastic. 
and Andrea, look at that. There's another awning right there. Those, that must be like window awnings or something. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Also, you got the cameras there so you can have that 360 camera. Right over here is just a little bit more storage, not much. Coming on back here, we have more storage. Okay. And then here you can see uh, your battery disconnect and some of your engine compartments and everything. Is it not an XCR? It's an XCS. Andrea, this says it's a 450 XCS. Obviously, we're going to go with that. From my understanding, because you had that pass-through storage, it was an XCR because you had the, the trays and everything. But according to this, it says XCS. And Andrea, we're going to listen to Numar over myself. So I do apologize about that. But it is still the 450 Cummins engine with the 1,250 pound-feet of torque. And then right here, Andrea, we do have a hitch. You can tow 10,000 pounds. That's the 360 camera and your backup camera that is right there. Finishing up, Andrea, coming around. This is what's super impressive. You do have a side mount radiator. Again, on a motorhome this small, you never had that. You had to have 42, 45 foot back in the day. So to be able to get that on such a small package is very nice. Watch your head. Right over here. DEF. It's where you fill up your DEF. Okay. Over here, here's your wet bay, outdoor shower. It's gorgeous. Yep. Uh, everything. You got your controls right there. Fresh water hose, potable water fill. Potable. potable. Yes, ma'am. Right here is your emergency exit, egress door. Okay. Right over here, we got your central vac, 50 amp power cord on a reel, and your Oasis hydronic heating system. Very nice. Right here is the other side of that storage. Okay. There's your inverter. And then here. So this is all electric, Matt. Oh, yes, ma'am. Battery bank. It is. There's no propane on this motorhome, but here, Andrea, bing, we will put all the specs about it so everybody can see the specs who's watching on television. And everybody can check the specs to make sure that if we say something wrong, that the specs are all right there. And then finishing up, here's some more electronical components. Well, Andrea, the outside of the, you hear that thunder? <laughs> the, wow. Oh man, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, Matt, don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Is it locked? Oh, oh you man, closed it. I did close it. All right, Andrea, found the keys. Take oh, a look at the inside. Don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Ah, yes. Well, look at these steps, very pretty. Wow. Okay, I almost tripped there on my dress, but wow. 3,251 pounds. 3,251 pounds, all right. So as you can see, wow, this is pretty. Of course. I kind of, I like this, it's, it's different. I haven't seen one with this color before. So these color schemes are gorgeous. Here's your bathroom. Here's the master bedroom, wow. They have really taken a modern um, style with this one. Oh yeah. And Andrea, um, side outs are in because we're in the showroom, but let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. 
Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register, match RV reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, come up here. We are getting started. First and foremost, please show this commander seat. This is very nice. Two-tone colors, luxury. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on a cloud. We got power seats here. Here's your auto leveling. Here's where I'm able to adjust the mirrors. You even have a window right here. This is so huge, Andrea, because so many times you're checking into your campgrounds this way, and um, to have that window is very nice. Here's your light switch, digital dash, air horn here. We got our radio and our cameras, also the mobile eye collision mitigation system. And then here's all our buttons, visors, shades, air conditioning. Right here, we do have nice little drawers. And Andrea, you're just making yourself super comfortable over there, aren't you? I really am. Look at this. You have uh, the passenger also has this as well. Right. So they can kind of assist, and it takes on a whole new meaning of backseat driver. Right. Side seat driver. I do like. The, the, here's the step cover. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to worry about you know falling in. You got the flush floor right here. Love that. And I, I want to say this chair. I think I said it the last Newmar I was in. Look how big it is. It's a big, like, oversized Numar. I could sit here with, with Yuna. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what I was thinking. That would be that would not be your seat. That would be a joint seat between <laughs> you and Yuna. I do feel that it does have a footrest. It's very comfortable. I think I said it was probably the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. Um, both these seats do swivel. I do see a, a pad here to control your lights and everything. You, and you... I don't see a workstation. We do have a wireless phone charger, okay. electrical outlets. You know what, Andrea? I bet you, I, pro I almost bet you, Let's check the storage. Ooh. I bet you that's why the passenger seat's always bigger. So you can recline and lay with your fur babies. Yes. <laughs> this is gorgeous, Matt. I mean, so, I didn't even see this. So daytime blind, Very and then there pretty. is privacy blinds. And then show that storage and watch your step. Okay. okay. So not much. Not much Mostly there. Mostly component, components. 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 <laughs> components. Oh, right wow. Right there's all your buttons. Come drop this buttons. This is your drapes. Okay, yes. so this is how you get them all down right here. Your yes. Security lights. More storage here. Wow. And then more storage here. So as you can see, there is no bunk over the cab. Right. Not in this unit. They don't want you to bring your kids. <laughs> so over here, Andrea, look at this nice looking dinette. This is the windows that I was telling you about, Andrea. It looks absolutely oh, fantastic. Oh, wow. I can't even... Uh, I mean, you have to it's be like here to wall. experience this, you guys, yes. but this is definitely cool. Right up here is the storage above. Okay. Sound system there. Is this anything? I don't think so. Nope. It's just decoration. Decoration. Right here we have more storage. And then here we have these like soft walls. And then there's the valances. Oh, very nice. And I will touch on this too. This is very cute. I think the, the way they did their color scheme in here is really adorable. Nice. And then over here is the dinette. Okay. If you notice as well, it's a flush floor, which is very nice. Okay. So this the table does come out, Matt, right? And there's two more chairs. Yes. And then right here, Andre, not, not only that, there is a TV on the televator right here. That window is just this gorgeous. This window is absolutely fantastic. I feel like the whole wall is the window. You it know looks what I'm so saying? like uh, panoramic, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it does. And then again, well, not only that, Andrea, like the window right there as well on the slide out is panoramic. And behind me, I just feels like it's it's all one big window. I love that. Um, and then this is the dinette. And how do you feel about these chairs? Look at the chairs real quick. I'm not really a fan of the chairs. Yeah, me neither. Okay, and then up here, Andrea, this yes, is it's where so your cute. air conditioning units are. They're covering it up for everybody. And then here is your sofa. And then, oh my goodness. I, I was gonna say, it looks really comfortable. This is one of the most plushest sofas I've ever sat on. You have it's your ottomans there, storage ottomans. Yes. And two of them. Okay. Wow. That does. I gotta sit down. I'm sorry. Andrei, I've gotta test this out myself. You got a friend in me. Let's see. 
Imagine hitting Route 66. Oh, wait. I think I found our new our next motorhome. Oh, man. <laughs> Newmar, you're costing wow. us some money now. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice, this is, Andrea. This is, ba- oh, my goodness. Very comfortable. That's it, guys. That's the review. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What do you think it is? You think it's a pullout sofa? Well, you want to know what I think it is? I bet you it's nothing. That's why it's so comfortable. Could be. We'll check it in a second. Storage above. Love the cabinetry. With a little, even a little LED light there. Yes, very familiar to uh, how Thor does theirs and some of their diesels. Yeah, well, this is definitely higher in. Oh cabinetry. yeah, definitely. But I'm saying the, from, the, from the last model. The year matte as well. color of the brown is what I'm saying. But I like it. I'm glad they decided to do this color. Oh, hold Check on, Matt. Underneath. Oh no, it's a, no, it is a so uh, it's a, a mattress. It, it's so it's a pullout sofa pull with a mattress. That's interesting. It was so comfortable. I I would have thought like maybe it was comfortable because it wasn't an RV mattress, but it still is an RV mattress, Andrea. It's just an upgraded mattress. <laughs> and Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Thank you, ma'am. MSRP on this motorhome is six hundred nineteen thousand. $749, Andrea, MSRP. But guess what? This unit here is at RV1 of Tampa in the showroom. Because it's in the showroom, they have it $120,000 discounted to $499,995, Andrea. That is absolutely fantastic. And again, this is a high-end motorhome in a small package. If you guys are interested, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab, or call RV1 of Tampa, Andrea. When people see the 3545 at the Hershey RV show next month, oh, it's, it's going to be a lot crazy. more than 499 because the 23s cost even more. So if this was the unit that you liked and you liked the 22, make sure you give them a call, but make sure you tell them Matt's RV Review sent you. Andrea, show us this kitchen. Yeah, I'm going to start over here because we missed this. So right here you have wow. some, you know, like a little, uh, you could put knickknacks in there. Knickknack paddy wax. Yeah. Some more storage down here. Move your arm, please. Oh, Oops. sorry. Sorry. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. And uh, since I'm right here, mine as well. Might be your, oh, your pantry. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Look at the light in yes. there. I love how it locks in. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Let's start here. Pretty solid surface countertop. Round sink. That is very interesting. I like it. It has this very modern take. Okay. All right, right here we have, oh. Hey, that's a $156 trash can. It sure is. And then, I don't think that's a drawer. No, no ma'am, no right. ma'am. Up here, I really like the cabinets. I like the lights above, the LED lights. We have a, a cabinet with adjustable shell. Yes. Right here as well. Let's see. This comes out. Very, very nice. Yes, ma'am. Very pretty. Sponges. And then under here. All okay, right. that's, a, that's good. I mean, look, it has, you know, separation. So you could, if you have the, uh, it does come with a uh, sink cover. Nice. I do like this solid surface countertop. What very about that pretty. backsplash? Oh, very cute. You know, I'm a fan of this because I have the same pattern yes. in my kitchen. Yes. But I love this. I love this gray silver kind of backsplash. Mm -hmm. And then we have a drawer here. Soft clothes, of course. Okay, nice size. And then we have a Samsung convection microwave. Very nice. Okay. And then over here, we have a two burner induction cooktop. Wow. All right. Yes. Very nice. I really like that backsplash. I kind of wish I would have did that on my kitchen. This, this is very cute, that color. And then we have another drawer. Mm -hmm. And then of course, you Fish gotta have your dishwasher. dishwasher. Very nice. There, there it you goes. go. Nice. Okay, then we have a uh, Samsung residential refrigerator. Okay. okay. Nice freezer. Wow. Oh, it's cold. Of course it's cold, Andre. It's plugged in. <laughs> and then over here in the All bathroom. Right, Matt, I do see, oh, sorry guys. We need to turn the lights on in here. So let's get them on. It's kind of dark in there. Right. Oh, Andrea. It, it, yeah. Oh, good. Put it all the way bright so we can catch that. But I can adjust it. That's nice. Oh, look how cute the valances are in there. 
Adorable. How bright do I want it? How very, bright we do want I it, want it? We want it very bright. There we go, Andrea. Look at this shower. Oh my. Again, this is small motorhome, but look at this nice wow. stone shower. I have these at home, um, and I love these, especially for an RV. Yes. You know, um, you, you got to save space. Look at the shower heads. Nice rainfall. Nice shower head. teak seat. You got a teak seat right there. And then look at the stones underneath. See, this is all we need. In, in our motorhome is a shower like this, Matt. Yeah, but I want a bigger one. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cute. Oh, right? yeah. This is how I have it at home, too, you guys. It just, it's a lot easier when you have these lights. Yeah. All right, so we have a nice medicine cabinet. They continue to really nice backsplash in here. Very cute colors. Okay. That's a good cabinet. Yes. I like all their handles and everything. Very cute. And you know, Matt, I got to say, I'm really surprised because I don't see, I love the sink. I don't see Newmar do too much. It, it always seems like it's not geared towards the younger generation of modern uh, decor. So they've done a fantastic job in here. Well, Andrea, I don't know if it's the younger generation. because Not younger generation. I mean, I don't mean to, to say that and stereotype, but what you I mean is... You just stereotyped on YouTube. You know, everybody likes their own. They have their own taste. It's a good look. It is a good look. Absolutely. And again, who, since you want a stereotype, <laughs> the customer that Newmar made the new air for was the Allegro bus customer. Yes. Was the Dutch, not Dutch star, like London air customer. Was the um, uh, Integra cornerstone customer. But they didn't want to drive a 45 footer anymore. They wanted to drive a 35 footer. That's who... Uh, Newmar was trying to get in Andrea. Truthfully, when it first came out, I wasn't a huge fan of New Air, but they've done a great job with everything. I gotta that say, doing and you want to know else? I'm actually really surprised. Andrea, guess what? This is a prime poop position. Bing! Of Not course. only that, Andrea, pocket sliding door. What a cute door, too. Not that dumb Newmar door that does the whole twist and shout. Okay, going into the master bedroom, we have another pocket door. Andrea, small bedroom, but still super spacious. Nice storage here. They give you here. adjustable shelves in there, too. Nice Samsung TV Big here. Big TV. Yes, ma'am. And as you can see, let me just show the, show the ceiling real quick. They are covering up the air conditioner again with that. Very cute. Uh -huh. And then, let's see, we have six drawers over here. Yes, ma'am. Trying to see if there's storage behind the TV. I don't believe there is. And Andre, it's soft closed. It's soft closed. Very nice. Matt. Andrea, look at this. This is I, I like this. This 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 I'm in love with this motorhome actually. I I, I like it too. I mean <laughs> I the love, love the windows. Word, I don't know. Look and then, yeah. light sconces. Hold on, guys. I'm like really yeah, uh I gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm really just Wall Surprise. On. Oh, look at this. On. Turn Action. them all on. Oh, oh, I just oh, turned oh, them all off. Oh, no. No, how do I turn them all on? Back on. There you go. Hit on. But I got it. Oh. There's on. No. Lighting. You have to turn them all on? Singly? Or it just doesn't have a master switch? Well, that's dumb. Hang on. Hang on, America. Sorry, guys. I had to see the sconce, the wall sconce lights that took the floor lights on, but the wall, the sconce lights are not on again. Oh, guys, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to show this pocket door here. Very cute. Matt, I'm going to close it. So, as you can see, this is adorable. Very nice. And I like the pocket doors, Andre. Show what we got going around okay, the Okay, cute headboard, king size bed. Let's see. We have like, oh, there you go. I really like how bright it is in here too with all the lights on. All right, so we do have somewhat of a nightstand here. Yes, ma'am. We got some storage down there. Cute headboard. Yes. We have this, oh, look at this pretty window. Mm -hmm. Nice oh, king size my bed goodness. as well. Very cute uh, valances. Love the windows. We got some storage above. I, I love how bright it is in here. And underneath yes. you have a pad there too where you control everything. Lights, reading lights. Mm -hmm. Oh. Then Andre, over here we have a stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. All right, so coming up over here, you have a little step up to get into the uh, closet here. There's more storage. Lit up closet. I like that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I believe there's a safe. Oh yeah, there's the safe right back there. There's your two chairs. 
And then you have your uh, fuses here, breaker box. And Perfect. Matt, I wonder if there's storage under here. Let's check real quick. Might not be because it's so heavy, but. Oh. A okay, little bit of storage. A bit. Yep, just a little bit. Maybe for linens. There's your extension for your, your dining table. Right. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the new air. Now, before everybody goes, it's time we give people three things we love and three things we don't love about this motorhome. Andrea, what should we do first? Oh, don't look at me, Matt. <laughs> I think we should do dislikes first. Okay. Dislikes is going to be tough, but I'm going to get it out of the way. It's like ripping off a Band-Aid. Okay. Andrea, dislike number one for me, it's going to be the light center. Um, The fact that there's an all lights off button here, but there wasn't an all lights on button. Um... I, I don't understand that. Also, I, you know, I had to go to different parts of the RV to turn different lights on and off. For me, I, I really don't like that. What I do wish is, uh, like that one back there had an all lights on button, but it didn't turn every light on. The fact of the matter is that, you know, when I hit the all lights on button, it turned on most of the lights, but not all the lights. I still had to bounce around to find all the different lights, sconces and everything. If it's all lights on, I just want all lights on right andrea that's dislike number one dislike number two it's right here andrea unfortunately we didn't get to see it with the slide outs closed but i do know with how small this motorhome and how deep these slides are it is going to be a very tight walkway once you're in here and everything's closed it is what it is people want the smaller motor it's home. a double slide not only that andrea with the uh ottomans right here you got to put the ottomans up every time it just kind of is what it is. And then Andrea, number three. Number three, and this this is hard for me because I really love this motorhome. Talk to me. So over here, I really I really like this whole setup, but I really feel like it needed a workstation. I concur. Because I know if I was driving, Matt would definitely be over here working. Yeah. Definitely. So I feel like you know they should have that option, or is that what this is? Oh, that is. But even still, I I don't like that little table. I want like a full on desk right. type of table. So that's my dislike. Andrea, I 110% agree with you. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love. Andrea, please go first. Oh, what can I say? Number one, you guys, I love the interior decor in here. Just yes. gorgeous. I love the modern look. Pretty colors. They did a fantastic job. The wood. Yes. The trim. Even going as even far. Even the balances. Even the balances. But even the shades right yes. there. Absolutely freaking fantastic. Beautiful. I love that. Andrea, that's number one. Tell me number two. Oh, number two is the windows. Yeah. The windows are like, I we've never seen them before. And I got to tell you, they are gorgeous. You have to really experience it in person to be able to appreciate it. Andre, not just on the inside, but on the outside as well. Yes. The windows are absolutely beautiful and fantastic. Andre, that's number two. And you know what? I'm going to go out. I'm, I'm going to say something a little different. Okay. This is a small motor home, right? The fact of the matter is, they still gave you a phenomenal bathroom setup here. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the size of the shower. That toilet was the primus of pooping position, and the sink was a good spot. So many times when manufacturers are trying to fit a certain length, 35 feet, 10 inches, tip to tip, they're going to sacrifice on the bathroom to give you a better living area or whatever. But the fact that they still gave you an, an awesome bathroom with an awesome shower, it's absolutely fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this motorhome, again, this is 2022. Call RV1 of Tampa or send me, go, go to our website and reach out. It's mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We know we're going to make sure we get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, what do you want to say? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Newmar does read the comments, and they do watch the videos. So we are interested to see what you have to say about this one. Um, thanks so much, you guys, for watching. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And, Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.